You may find this hard to believe, but I'm not the best. Now I know what some of you are thinking, oh how could this be? My entire worldview is completely shattered. Because apparently you're like vaguely British and kind of old. There are just some things you have to accept. Like there's not even a statue of me. Now I'm not saying I'm not the best at anything. I mean I'm obviously the best looking. I hope that's the thumbnail. Man, what if this is the thumbnail? That'd be meta. I'm the best at um holding this thing. Cards. I have the best keychain. I am the best at putting videos on YouTube from my family. A lot of competition there. All that bestness makes it easy for me to create and do things, but what about the rest of you? Good morning, I'm the Left and Conquistador. Today is September 1st, 2014. Song of the week is Pop It by Anna Monaguchi. Same as last week, because after you listen to it and then give it a little time, then listen to it again, it gets even better. Most ghosts are haunting. But your small noise and blue light are just really, really cute. And today we're going to talk about intimidation and creation. Cheekiness aside, I am in fact not the best. I haven't raised thousands of dollars for charity or gone to Peru and built orphanages. And I still don't have a statue. It's past what I don't do, too, and into what I actively do. Like, I consider myself pretty good at drawing, but there's also Michelangelo, and Da Vinci, and, you know, Picasso, and Norman Rockwell, and Dali, and ah, And those are just some of the dead guys. Narrowing it down to just alive and comic artists, you still get a substantial list, like David Aha and Kate Beaton. If you are unfamiliar with either, look them up, it is well worth your time. But yeah, I could actually go A to Z, Aha to Zardsky, for living, amazing comic artists. Well, Diego, comics are figured out. Let's try YouTube videos. Minute Physics and Veritasium and Wheezy Waiter and Vlogbrothers. I mean, Zé Frank had it figured out before most people had heard the words you and tube smushed together. And as you can tell by the fact that I blink, I'm not Zé Frank. Every medium already has a giant repertoire of masters. Like what is most widely considered to be the first video game, Space War, is really good. And I still enjoy playing it. And that's 50 years after it was made. It's certainly better than Pong. My point is, how does anyone create anything when we already have Da Vinci and Kate Beaton and the Vlogbrothers and E.E. E. Cummings and the Mountain Goats? Say I'm a young musician learning his first chords and I listen to the Mountain Goats. I'm gonna be intimidated, maybe even legitimately scared. There is this crazy amazing band. How is it possible to beat this or even compete with it? I have so much to learn. Compared to this, I will always be nothing. And that's a terrifying thought to have! The thought that something you enjoy, maybe even love, will ultimately always be pointless because so many other people have done it and done it better. And I hope we haven't lost too many people to those thoughts. That there aren't 50 discouraged Picassos working for the IRS. Because there's a way past it. And like the solution to so many things, it just takes a little shift in perspective. See, our list of amazing living comic artists had to become amazing comic artists in a world that already had a Jack freaking Kirby. Jack Kirby! They've all gone through it, and that's an important thing to remember. And as silly as it sounds, it's also important to remember that they're all human. I know it's a silly thing, but it's important. You're human and they're human, so in just realizing that, you're already so much closer. And you know what? It means there's a possibility of you reaching them. The way to not be a deer in the headlights when it comes to creating anything is to look at those you draw inspiration from. Those who are where you would ideally like to be, and say, hey. Look at how good I could be. Look at what I could become. Because it could be you. We all have that potential. The potential to be the best in whatever it is you want to be the best at. So when you get past the dumbfoundedness, then you can work towards being the best. And you have to work at it, because potential isn't worth two cents if you don't do anything with it. So while I may not be the best, I've still got potential. I'm still young, just let me work at it a bit. I'm sure I'll eventually get that statue. It just takes inspiration instead of intimidation. I'll see you next week.